What's up kids, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I have a winter beanie cap and it's lit or lighted. Um, I just saw this online and thought I'd grab it and try it out because I didn't know what to expect. Now the pictures online make it look like there's a high beam of uh, concentrated light coming right out of the front here. But uh, in fact, it's just five little white LEDs and then a little bit of a reflective strip around it. It's a fairly thick strip of plastic or rubber actually. Um, it's also pretty bright. Kind of your standy, standard beanie cap. I've used a little bit. I'll show you a little bit of the night shot with it. Um, the beam itself projects pretty straightforward ahead of you, at least by my forehead, and it kind of depends on where the, you pull it down. But um, I'm sure you're wondering how it works, and so I kind of wanted to show you that. So on the back, you have the cords and the connector to the battery pack. The battery pack slides under this little uh, elastic loop there and uses a regular watch battery, a, a circular one. This pries up and lifts off. Now the key is you have to unscrew these two little Phillips screws there in order to uh, open up the cover all the way. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, and then the on off switch is just this little tiny switch right here. So if I flip it, lights go on, lights come off, lights go on, lights come off. Now it is pretty bright and I want to tell you uh, what you could use it for first. Let's say you're a jogger, um, let's say you're going camping, it's winter months for you. Uh, you know, maybe it's something where you need light a couple of times or infrequently, so it doesn't make sense to wear a headlamp all the time, but you want to have it, and this is fairly comfortable and it's fairly small. Uh, it's particularly in the colder areas, the beanie cap makes a lot of sense instead of wearing a winter cap and then a headlamp on top of it. Now let me tell you some of the problems with this. First of all, this is not a big battery, so if you're going to use a lot of light a lot of, a, for a long time, I would suggest getting just a headlamp. Even one of the small headlamps will have a lighting element very similar to this, produce a lot of light, but have a much larger battery or run on very standard accessible AA or AAA batteries. Um, I don't know how long this battery is going to last, but my guess would be it'll be kind of a one event use. So take it camping, take it jogging, might work for a few times, but I wouldn't expect you to get hours and hours and hours of use out of it. I may be wrong, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't guess that. My second issue with it is that um, in order to activate it, you'd have to turn it on and then slide this battery pack underneath the elastic, and then either put the ha the hat back on or or do it while the this is pulled down and you're trying to fumble with it. I have tried that a couple times and it's a little bit of a pain. It's not just a little bit of a pain, it's kind of a big pain. Secondly, you could leave it there and kind of fumble for the switch, but now I can tell you the switch is pretty small and sometimes you can't tell which way it's supposed to go in order to turn it on or off. Once you find it, it works, but it's not a big it's not a big flat button or anything like that that's really obvious. You'd really have to kind of feel around because you could have this mounted in pretty much any direction. Now, the good news is everything stays in place and this being really slim and, and thin, you don't feel the weight of it. It's very comfortable against your head and it's something that you have in, in, in case you need it. But um, like I said, you've got to kind of look at this and decide whether it makes sense to have everything in one and make the compromises versus having just the uh, a normal hat and then carrying a headlamp around with you. Let's take a look at what this does in darkness. All right guys, now taking a walk with my lighted beanie on. As you can see, it's actually pretty comfortable and if I were just out and about, I would forget probably that there's this light up here, but we're gonna go ahead and turn it on now. And here's where uh, my first issue is, is that not using it a lot, uh, it's hard to find the switch. There we go, found it. So have the beanie on and if I'm just looking forward, the the light is actually, it's, it's kind of cool because it seems to be aimed down a little bit. So just looking straight forward, the beam of light is probably, oh, 15 feet in front of me. If I tilt my head down a little bit, I can bring it into about uh, eight to 10 feet. Um, this isn't a bad or uncomfortable situation. If I were going to do things with my hands in the dark, 
um, I'm kind of pushing my chin into my chest right now to get the light right at uh, hand level if I were manipulating something in front of me. But, um, you know, given the fact that you don't have any other angle adjustment on it, it's not a bad compromise. And the light is pretty nice. It's actually fairly concentrated given that there's no um, reflectors uh, directing the light. It actually does a pretty good job for just having uh, the LEDs. Um, just mounted basically in the front of the hat. So there it is, your lighted beanie. Check it out. They're not expensive. Peter Von Panda, out.